Egyptian? This the this the dude locking Paul up. Okay. Ain't you an Egyptian? What you doing speaking Greek? Right. Come on, bro. Art thou that Egyptian uh -huh. which before these days made an uproar and led her out into the wilderness four thousand men that were murdered. What did Paul say? But Paul said, I am a man which am a Jew. A what? Am a, a Jew. One more time. Am a Jew. So he was mistaken for an Egyptian, but he said, no, man, I'm a Jew. But how do you mistake Steven Spielberg for an Egyptian? How do you mistake a white boy for an Egyptian? <laughs> Impossible. Spielberg. See, all the New Testament shows you and the picture we showed of our forefathers early. Hold that, brother. Hold that for me. We got a picture right here in the ancient world that shows the ancient depiction of what Jews look like. Right up here in the upper corner. Look at that. That's in stone, brother. A Syrian soldier drives Jews into captivity. Look at the look at the braids, locks, and and uh, uh, nappy birds. Look at them. See that? These are Jesus Christ's ancestors right here. And that's in stone, bro. You feel me? So when you read the Bible and you and you hear about Jew. Or Israel or Jacob, so no, we're talking about Syria? us as a people. Okay. You feel me? That's today. That's Turkey. You know, it's the Turks. Ah. You see? So no, that's our people. You know what I'm saying? When you read Israel in the Bible, it ain't talking about the people that's in the Middle East right now. Right. Or the right. Jewish people that own everything. It's talking about us, because we the ones that fell away from our knowledge of who we are. Okay. And was led into captivity to slave ships. Right. Then we get on slave ships, right. bro. That's in the Bible. Right. Let's read it real quick. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Let's read it for the brother. Deuteronomy 2868. More proof that we are God's people. How do we get there? Let's read it. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. You got a dollar? Look on the back of your dollar. It's a pyramid. Yeah. Egypt means captivity, house of bondage. So the scripture, Moses was telling our forefathers at the mount, if you go against God, he gonna send your children into slavery by ships. Okay. Who did that happen to, brother? Uh, uh, so we must be those people then. Yeah. You see yeah. that? Read yeah. it again, bro. And the Lord, yeah, shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. It don't take, now, if you know anything about geography, it don't take a ship to go from the land of Canaan to Egypt. You can walk there. Okay. It's like walking from the west side to Wellston. You can walk right there. Okay. He was talking about a future captivity that the children of Israel would go through. And right. by that bang, to get to this captivity, they would be taking ships. Right. Now, Nathan, hold that board up, the uh, mighty captivity board. Right. Or Solomon, hold that board up for me. One right there to your left. Right. And he, spe he specified y'all transportation of which how y'all going into this captivity. See that right there? Deuteronomy 28, the mighty captivity. Right. Look at that. That's how we got here, brother. Right, what's up? We just read, by ships, you're going to get back into slavery or Egypt. Egypt means bondage. You're going back into bondage, mm. but this time by ships. And that was prophesied thousands of years ago. Showing you that the spirit of the Most High was, was on Moses. He was on Moses. You feel me? Come on, brother. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way were I speaking to thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We ain't seen our homeland since we left. We was chased out of there 2,000 years ago under the Romans. Mm, right. Vespasian and Titus. And that's how we got down into Africa. Hold on, brother. I got you. Come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You shall be what? Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You shall what? Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You shall be sold unto your enemies. How do we, won't we sold on auction blocks? Right. To your enemies. You go on, you go into slavery by ships and when you get there, you're gonna be sold to your enemies. Come on, brother. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies for a bond man and bond women that's a slave and no man shall buy you that buy means redeem no man was going to redeem you out of this captivity right. only to he who redemption is for right. and that's the messiah right. when he returns right. he's coming to redeem it says his people right. it don't say all people he coming his to redeem people. his people right.
Because redemption comes into play when you've been sold into slavery. Now, brother, want to read this revelation real quick. Check, trip off this. Revelation. Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. But what? But do lie. The people that claim they Jews, they are liars, man. And they don't even believe in Christ. The king of the Jews. Come on. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. And to know that I have loved thee. So when it's all said and done, they're going to have to bow down and acknowledge us as the sons of God, because that's who we are. You see, so Christ even prophesied there will be a time in the last days where be people claiming they Jews and they lying. They not the Jews. You are. That's who we are. That's why when we ask somebody asks us who we are as a people, right. we say black. Right. Right. The crayon I, that's a crayon cut. That's a color of the Crayola box. Structure, right? <laughs> I run, I run <laughs> big jobs. Um, I have a lot of white people in my crew. Yeah. Some of them try not to disrespect me. Yeah. And I tell them, I say, you better learn how to do this. You better learn quick <laughs> because hey, what, people don't, what people don't know is in, in our kingdom to come, we're going to have servants and slaves. We're going to have a servant. We're going to be the master in the kingdom feet. to come. Yeah. Let's read it, Isaiah 14. Let's read it. Let's read it, Isaiah 14. And hey, look, that rattles a lot of people, man, but that's beautiful for us. Knowledgeable man in the world about, about hearing what you're hearing right now. Hey, that's good, bro. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So we must not be in our own land then. He said, God going to set the children of Israel, all 12 tribes, back in their own land. Mm. After the destruction of Babylon, because this is Isaiah 14, the beginning of it, the end of Isaiah 13, going to the destruction of Babylon, mm. in which we currently reside. The daughter of Babylon. We here. Make no mistake about it. Baby every, every wicked spirit and the spirit of every foul bird is here, bro. Right. And they okay in everything that go against oh, God now. Right. Down to yeah. homosexual yeah. marriage now. Yeah. That's, that's, that's madness. Yeah. Man. Okay, come on, bro. Yeah. That's, that's a lunatic. That's man. Right. It says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own Land. Contact information off of and the stranger shall be joined with them, uh -huh. and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, right. and the people shall take them uh -huh. and bring them to their place. to their place, Come on. and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for a servant. And handmaids. See that? We're going to have possession over the other nations in our kingdom. And they're going to be our servants and handmaids. That's right. And that's a beautiful thing, brother. You're a king. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kings have servants, people right. doing things for them. Right. You weren't made to, to pick that cotton and get your back whipped and that's get right. Trayvon Martin out here. You I'll became work the McDonald's earth. for 725. Right. You feel me? That ain't right. now. You're supposed to be run, enjoying the earth and what the Lord made you for. Right. So somebody asked you who you are as a nation of people. We descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. God's chosen people. So you tell him I'm a Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. You feel me? That's your nationality. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I got a pizza. Right. If I go to Canada, Canada. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 8. And he said it to me from Abraham unto Isaac. When Jacob and Esau were born. Jump, jump back up, jump up, because he asked about the divide another time. Okay. Jump up to uh, verse 7. Okay. Then he answered it. He say, then he then answered. I and said, what shall be the parting, parting asunder of, of the times? He asking Ezra, asking when it's going to be the end of this world. Yeah. Yeah. The parting yeah. asunder of the times. Right. Okay, yeah. come on. Or when, or so when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of the of it that follow? Right. right. Okay. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, uh -huh. when Jacob and Esau were born, right. Right. of him. Jacob hand held first the hill of Esau. Now, Jacob in the Bible was us that make Esau in the Bible the so called who you call Caucasian today. Okay. And notice we was fighting with them in the womb. That's right. right. So that the whole racism thing, the whole racial skirmish, it go back to our conception. 
Okay. Right. We was all we the Lord showed how we was gonna be enemies, yeah, with, enemies with them right. from the womb, bro. Yeah. Yeah. He's your yeah. evil twin brother. They fight that's who he is. Take, take oh, He's your evil a, twin brother. That's a dirty fight, label to work, boy. They, they, they fight for the rulership in the womb. Yeah. 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 That's what they fight yeah. no yeah. Even the reading. Even the reading. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. For Esau is the end of the world. Woo. And right. Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Woo. Esau is the wow. end of the world, man. So that's now you know. So now you can read verse 56. Now you know the last woman. The last woman kingdom on earth will be the kingdom of the Edomites. The white man. He runs the earth. Right now. Right. Okay. His biblical name is Esau the Edomite, the mountain dweller, Edom. dwelling caves. Right. Go hunting all the time. Right. Eat his food with blood. Right. Use right. the symbol right. of an eagle. Right. You feel me? Right. That's all the That's white man today. And check us out. He's not white. He's red. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Next time you see a whole whole MetroLink train of them yeah. going to the Cardinals game. Look at him. Look at how close they are to that Cardinals cap. <laughs> and not to the, the white page on right, the right. Exactly. Talk, right. They pink. We call them rednecks, <laughs> right? Right. They're right. pink. Pink is a derivative of red. They don't have melanin, okay. so the blood show right through the skin. Okay. They're red and hairy. So they're burning up. That's Esau. Right. They can't stand in the sun too. Right. They can't stand in the sun too long. Yeah. But see, in the ancient world, the way he was able to stay in the sun, he wasn't scared of his hurt. Okay. He let his hair grow. Today they shave. They do right, a real right. good job shave. of shaving. Exactly. Right. And then by 3 p.m. they beard grow back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's called a uh, afternoon shadow. Right. Okay. They can shave in the morning and they right. grow right back. Right. He's red do and hairy. I was gonna do He's that, red and hairy. I know He's the hunter. The sun right. don't reject us. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, I know so how he survived in the Mid East back like, then? He looked like away. the eight, the caveman back right. then. He had the hair all over his body right. and it shielded him from the sun. You feel okay. me? Today they shave off all they hurt. Right. Trying right. to hide themselves. You know right. what I'm saying? So right. Esau is the end of the world. That's right. And Jacob, which is us, the twelve tribes of Israel. We come up soon as they fall. Right. Okay. That's what Christ's beginning. coming for. He coming okay. for his people. You see right. that? Yeah. Right. So so that's the whole message of the Bible, bro. It's yeah. time for us to come back to this book and right. keep the law, statutes, and commandments in the Bible that's and believe in his son Christ, man. He you said, I hated the ways of Esau. Check us out. Read 56 and 58. Place, it says, way, it was, we, as we for the other this. people. Check us out. Check us out. Check us out. Y'all trip off this. Oh, you ain't finished the verse off about the heel, bro. Finish that. Okay. It say for Esau is the end of the world, mm, that's right. and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. That's right. The hand of man is betwixt the heel and the hand. 